Sarah, an 18-year-old with long, chestnut-brown hair, walked along the sidewalk on her way to meet her friend Jen at the barber shop owned by Jen's father. She checked the time on her phone and saw that she was right on schedule for their planned meetup. As Sarah approached the barber shop, she looked up at the old-fashioned barber pole spinning outside. She opened the door, hearing the cheerful jingle of bells announcing her arrival. The scent of shaving cream and hair tonic filled the air. Jen, a vivacious girl with a bright smile, immediately greeted Sarah with a warm hug. You made it! I'm so glad you could come, Jen exclaimed. Of course I wouldn't miss this, Sarah replied, returning the enthusiastic hug. She glanced around the cozy shop, noting the classic barber chairs and vintage decor. Jen checked her watch and said, Shoot, my dad just texted asking me to run up to the apartment to grab something. I'll be right back. Make yourself at home. No problem. Take your time, Sarah said as Jen hurried up the stairs behind the shop counter. Sarah settled into one of the plush waiting chairs and thumbed through a magazine. As she did, she overheard the friendly banter between the barbers and their clients over the background buzz of clippers. The atmosphere was lively and welcoming. After a few minutes, Jen's father, Mr. Smith, the owner, caught Sarah's eye with a warm smile. Sarah, nice to see you again, he said. Hi, Mr. Smith, good to see you too, Sarah replied. While you wait, want me to give you a little trim? Mr. Smith offered, motioning to the empty barber chair. Oh, that's okay. I'm just here to see Jen, Sarah responded politely. Just then, her phone rang. Seeing it was her mom, Sarah stepped outside the shop entrance to take the call. As she chatted on the phone, she peeked through the window at the activity inside the barber shop. When Sarah returned inside, she saw that all the barbers were finished with their customers. The sole barberette smiled at Sarah and said, Okay, you're up next. Sarah hesitated, not wanting to cause any confusion. Actually, I'm not here for a haircut, she explained. The barberette looked puzzled. I see. Well, if you're not getting a cut, I'm going to have to ask you to go. Not wanting to overstay her welcome, Sarah reconsidered and figured a little trim wouldn't hurt. She took a seat in the barber chair as the barberette draped a cape around her. What would you like done today? The barberette asked. Just a tiny bit off the ends to get rid of any split ends, Sarah requested. Unfortunately, the loud buzz of the clippers drowned out Sarah's soft voice. The barberette only heard just a flat top. The barberette nodded and reached for her tools. She picked up her clippers and attached a guard, setting it to a very short length. I love doing these cute cuts on girls, she remarked as she sectioned Sarah's long hair and began clipping the bottom layer. Sarah watched cautiously in the mirror as sections of her chestnut locks fell to the floor. She opened her mouth to clarify that she only wanted a tiny trim, but the buzzing clippers made it impossible for her soft voice to be heard. The barberette worked swiftly and methodically. Starting at Sarah's nape, she ran the clippers up the back of her head, shearing away inch after inch of hair. Sarah gripped the arms of the chair, eyes widening as her thick mane rapidly disappeared. In minutes, the back and sides of Sarah's head were shorn down to the skin, leaving only the top several inches of length. The barberette then switched to scissors and began cutting the remaining longer hair on top into a short layered pixie style. Snip by snip, Sarah watched her reflection transform. As the last sections were trimmed, her once long flowing locks were reduced to a mere shadow of their former length. The barberette leaned back, blew stray hairs off Sarah's neck and announced cheerfully, all done. She removed the cape with a flourish and handed Sarah a mirror. Sarah turned her head slowly, utterly shocked to see her new ultra short high and tight cut. She met eyes with the barberette in the mirror, both equally surprised by the dramatic transformation. I think there was a misunderstanding, Sarah finally managed to say with a nervous laugh. Oh my, I'm so sorry, the barberette exclaimed, hands flying to cover her mouth. 
but then she tilted her head and added optimistically, Well, it really does look cute on you. Sarah sat stunned in the barber chair, still in disbelief at her dramatically shortened hair. She slowly ran a hand over the buzzed sides and back, the prickly sensation foreign to her. Just then, the door jangled open and Sarah's friend Jen burst back into the shop. Sorry that took so lo- Jen began, but stopped short when she saw Sarah. Oh my god! Jen exclaimed, hands flying to her mouth in shock. Her eyes were wide as she took in Sarah's totally transformed ultra-short pixie cut. Sarah gave a helpless shrug and a nervous laugh. There was a misunderstanding, she tried explaining, but felt herself getting choked up. As the reality sunk in, tears began welling up in Sarah's eyes. Her long, beautiful locks that she had nurtured for years were now gone in an instant. She had only wanted a tiny trim, but this was far more than she had ever imagined. Jen rushed to her side, putting a comforting arm around her friend's shoulders. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry this happened, Jen said sympathetically as Sarah wiped away tears. The barbarette chimed in apologetically. It was my mistake. I feel awful about this, she handed Sarah a tissue. No, it's okay. It's not your fault, Sarah replied bravely, dabbing her eyes. I should have spoken up louder. She managed a watery smile, touched by the support of her friend and the barbarette. Jen gave her a reassuring squeeze. For what it's worth, it really does look amazing on you. You're rocking the heck out of this cut. Sarah had to laugh through her tears. It would definitely take some adjusting to see herself with a buzz cut, but maybe her friend was right. She did look pretty darn cute with her edgy new pixie cut. What do you say we go get some ice cream and shakes to make ourselves feel better? Jen suggested. Sarah nodded, starting to feel better. She took one more look in the mirror and gave her shorn locks a ruffle before following Jen out the door. Sarah and Jen walked down the street together, headed to their favorite ice cream parlor to get treats and shakes. Sarah was still sniffling a bit and running her hand over her newly shorn hair. I can't believe how different I look, Sarah said with a sigh. I feel like a totally different person. Jen nodded sympathetically. I know, it's a huge change, but really, you're rocking it. You look so edgy and cool. Sarah managed a small smile, appreciating her friend's encouragement. I guess it will just take some getting used to. At least it's summer, so I don't have to worry about school. The two girls arrived at the parlor and ordered their ice cream. As they sat enjoying their cold treats, Sarah felt herself relaxing. You know what, I think you're right, Sarah admitted after a few minutes. This pixie cut is pretty cute. She tilted her head from side to side, getting a better look at the dramatic angles and tapered sides. Jen grinned. See, I told you it's super stylish on you. You look like a model. Sarah laughed, her mood brightening. She was starting to embrace her new look. Sarah spent a little more time with her friend Jen after getting the dramatic pixie cut at the barbershop. The two girls walked around downtown together for a bit, getting frozen yogurt and window shopping. Sarah was still feeling stunned and teary-eyed about her sudden short haircut. Jen kept reassuring her, Don't worry, it looks so cute. You're rocking the pixie cut, girl. But Sarah couldn't stop anxiously touching the shorn hair at the nape of her neck. I hope my parents don't freak out. They loved my long hair so much. Jen nodded sympathetically. I'm sure they'll come around. At first, they'll be surprised, but once the shock wears off, they'll see how great you look. I hope so, Sarah replied uncertainly. She checked the time on her phone. I guess I should get home to face the music. It'll be okay, Jen said supportively, giving her friend a quick hug. Call me later and let me know how it goes. Thanks, Jen, I will, Sarah said gratefully before heading in the direction of her house. She took a deep breath, bracing herself for her parents' reaction as she self-consciously touched the short strands of her new pixie cut. She could only hope her mom and dad would be understanding about this abrupt change in her appearance. Sarah took a deep breath as she approached the front door of her house. She slowly turned the knob and stepped inside, 
her pixie cut immediately catching her parents' attention. Sarah, is that you? Her mom called from the kitchen. Her footsteps approached and then stopped short as she caught sight of her daughter. Oh my word, your hair! Sarah's dad came around the corner next, doing a double take at his daughter's shorn locks. Pumpkin, what did you do to your hair? He asked in disbelief. I know, it's really short, Sarah said nervously, her voice trailing off. She quickly recounted what had happened at the barber shop as her parents listened, eyes still wide. Honey, why didn't you just leave? Her mom asked, shaking her head. I, I don't know, it just seemed easier to let her finish, Sarah stammered, twisting a short lock around her finger. Her dad let out a long sigh. Well, it certainly is a change from your long hair. It'll take some getting used to. Do you hate it? Sarah asked anxiously. Her mom tilted her head, examining the pixie cut. No, sweetie, we could never hate it. It's just very different for you, but it is rather stylish. Sarah smiled with relief. So you don't think I look ugly? Her dad put a reassuring hand on her shoulder. Of course not. You're beautiful no matter what. This is just a shock, that's all. The important thing is that you're happy. Thanks, Mom and Dad, Sarah said gratefully, giving them both a big hug. Their understanding reaction made her feel much better about her abrupt, short style. Over the next few weeks, Sarah continued adjusting to life with short hair. There were still moments when she would go to toss her long locks over her shoulder by habit, only to find air. Running her hand over the buzzed part of her neck while studying or watching TV became an absent-minded habit. On the first day of senior year, Sarah woke up early to style her pixie cut. She swept the front pieces to the side and pinned back the top, creating a chic, voluminous look. Her mom gushed over how mature and stylish she looked. At school, Sarah noticed she was getting more attention than usual from both girls and guys. Her edgy new cut gave her an air of confidence that drew compliments from classmates. Even teachers who had known Sarah for years did double takes when they saw her transformation. By the time graduation arrived, Sarah couldn't imagine going back to long hair. Her pixie cut had become such a core part of her identity. She felt more bold, independent, and carefree with the low-maintenance short style. One evening, Sarah came across an old photo of herself from junior year with flowing chestnut locks. She smiled thinking back on that day at the barber shop. Though shocking at first, the impromptu cut sparked a journey of self-discovery and ushered in a chic new era of short hair. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story I shared. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Your feedback means a lot, so don't be shy. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really helps the channel grow so I can keep making more videos for you all. Also, share this with your friends and family if you think the all they'd find it interesting, too. Spreading the word is such a big help. Let me know in the comments what kind of stories you want to hear in future videos. I'm open to suggestions, so if there's a topic you want covered or a story you want me to tell, just say the word. You all are the best, and I appreciate you watching. Can't wait to see you in the next video soon. Stay tuned.